Now, Liam, I mean, I know that from way back, you were a fan of the Stone Roses. So yeah. to have John yeah. say something like that, that must really mean something to hear that. Yeah, no, totally, man. People that inspire you and know, make you get in a band, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, oh, you always want their like, kind of seal of approval, you know what I mean? Okay. But yeah, I, the tunes are mega. And we sound mega, and if you like that kind of thing, you're gonna you're gonna be happy. You know what I mean? Is that what we're gonna get from the album, or are there little like sudden left turns in there? Are there some ballads? Is there a Christmas record, or have you set the tongue <laughs> for what we've got? There's a lot of variety there. It'll make your head spin. Good morning. Welcome along to the Dave Berry Breakfast Show, where right now the music gods are smiling down upon us. Making his breakfast show debut, he is a founding member of the Stone Roses. It is John Squire. Hey, John. Hey, Dave. Good morning. Sat beside him, dear friend of the show. Don't give me an introduction. Don't be cheeky. It's Liam Gallagher, everyone. <laughs> Woo! Uh, Liam, John, great to see you both. Why are you joking? I was going to say, as someone who is considered by many to be one of the greatest frontmen of all time, it's Liam Gallagher. Yeah. So, with you two coming together, this is a seminal moment in music. People are genuinely excited about this. And with Master Liverpool, which dropped on Friday, and before that, just another rainbow, it seems you are delivering. John, let me start with you. Does this come as any surprise to you or is there any relief that it's all been so well received or did you just know it was good and you couldn't wait to get it out there? I knew after we'd recorded some demos it was good. I wasn't sure until Liam got involved and he transformed everything, made it sound mega. Now, Liam, I mean, I know that from way back you were a fan of the Stone Roses. So yeah. to have John yeah. say something like that, oh, it must be special to you. You've, you've, everything you've achieved, that must really mean something to hear that. Yeah, no, totally, man. It's like people turn around and go, oh, it must be a dream to like, be, like, you know, doing this stuff with John. It's like not something that you've ever thought about, you know what I mean? All, all, all you really want is just to, like, if you met him on the street, you go, all right, and you go, all right, and you f***ing... And he digged each other, you know what I mean? But, yeah, the rest of it is just... An added bonus, you know what I mean? Okay. But yeah, I, the tunes are mega, and we sound mega. And if you like that kind of thing, you're gonna you're gonna be happy. You know what I mean? What I love about uh, Master Liverpool, as far as opening gambits to songs go, Jesus Christ! About last night, I can only apologise. Exactly. That's a great line to sing, isn't yeah, it? it? Yeah, it's <laughs> right on my street. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and as I say, before that, we had Just Another Rainbow, which I'm playing all the time on The Breakfast Show. But the thing with that song is, it is a song for all places. Is that what we're going to get from the album? Or are there little, like, sudden left turns in there? Are there some ballads? Is there a Christmas record? Or have you set the tongue <laughs> for what we've got? There's a lot of variety there. It'll make your head spin. Ah, OK. And were you a fan of the variety of the chaos of it all, Liam? When you were listening yeah. to what John had penned, were you no, like, yeah, I'm, I'm digging it? I'm all over it. I mean, the top tunes. Wheel's amazing as well. That's pure blues and that. And then, you know, there's, there's lots, of, lots of great tunes on it, man. We wouldn't have done it otherwise, you know what I mean? It's like, we're not doing it for the crack, you know what I mean? I mean, we do, you know, we want to put out a proper record. Well, I can't wait I to mean, hear Mother it. Nature's, Mother Nature's song's the one for me that's like, it's not a ballad, it's like, uh, it's more... It's, more it's, gen mo it's moving, yeah. Yeah, it's moving oh, okay. and it's beautiful. Uh, now, you've been having some fun with your, your fans and oh. your legions of followers on mean? social what, media. Well, they've been going, when are the yeah, let's, like, let's make... Let's... <laughs> I've been having fun with my fans. Your on, fans and on, followers, not like on behind social a media. hotel on, on just, via oh. and over oh, social right, media, okay. <laughs> No, there's nothing sinister or dark to it. But I know that they've been interested in whether you're going to do some live shows, which of course you are. Mm. In the spring, Paris to London, Manchester to Milan, Mars to Liverpool. Um, what yeah, I wanted to know is... Why do people keep asking if we're going to do live shows? Isn't it obvious? Oh, I see what you mean. So from your perspective, of course, we've we've made this album. We're really proud of it. We've recorded it. Yeah, we're people going are loving on it. Of course. <laughs> see, see you later. <laughs> and I'm taking these three fans with me. Yeah. You, you and you. Yeah. Um, Shush, now the chase is on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I see your point. Yeah. So you're thinking, well, of course we're going to put this out there, we're going to perform this live. I know we're getting on a bit, but... Well, I don't think on. you are. I mean, have you been rehearsing? Have you put some time aside to tying it up, getting it all right? Or is it like, we know what we're doing, oh, we're no, Liam we and John? we got to rehearse, yeah, because we've got a new... Ba we got I'm a not going to bother. Yeah, John's not going to rehearse, that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's what he's doing. I mean, we've got, like, you know, we've got new bass player that we haven't played. I mean, I've played with him before and Joey and that. But, yeah, we've got a little band and that, but we're definitely rehearsing that and then we'll get out on the road and that for sure. Oh, that's very exciting. Well, I'm looking forward to the rehearsal as well because the album's great and all that, but I just think it'll be even a lot more dirty, you know what I mean, in that little shit. 
empty room, you know what I mean? Like you're rehearsing, you know what I mean? And when you get out, and I just can't wait for a bit of that bit of grit in it, you know what I mean? Okay. It doesn't have to be a shitty room at your stage, does it? In in, no. in show business and music? No. Or do you prefer it to be a bit like that? Oh, no, it's not actually a shitty room, it's a nice room. Okay. But it's not shit though, isn't it? Yeah. It's like this. It's in it. This is the best studio in the building. The lights and all that are all pretty and all that, but after the bit, it's fucking that's why that's why we're moving Liam, because you said that we're going to actually move buildings um <laughs> now listen john this is your debut on the breakfast show uh, as liam will tell you he's well versed in the breakfast show ways you do have to play a silly game if you okay. can't buy that, that, that them's the rules and i've made this one up specifically for you guys it is questions based on the colors of the rainbow so john i'm gonna start with you pick a color you've got red orange yellow green blue indigo or violet violet Violet. Under ultraviolet light, all stains, marks, and dirty secrets are revealed. Can you tell us a dirty secret about a fellow musician? Without giving away their name, just give us a few key words. No, uh, uh, no I can't. Okay. okay fair John doesn't kiss and tell, man. Liam, can you? Yes, yeah, sh- keywords. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, no. 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 Okay, pick a colour. You've blue. got blue. Blue plaques, they honour famous folk and their achievements. Obviously, your blue plaques would honour your successful music careers and your contribution to all things rock and roll. But if you weren't really talented musicians, what everyday normal thing would you have on the blue plaque on your house? Liam. I do class myself as a funny guy, a comedian. Okay. And I like taking the piss. I'm good at taking the piss out of people, as well as myself and that. Okay. So Liam Gallagher, he took the piss. Yeah, it, it, oh, that'd be good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, king take king piss taker. <laughs> Once lived here. <laughs> yeah. John, what would you have? Uh, he put a lot of shelves up. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Then, now that's the level then, then the dates yeah okay between <laughs> good shelves and taking the mick okay you've got orange you've got red orange yellow green and indigo to go John mm, try orange what do you guys drink at home during the day are you Robinson's guys are you squash fans Liam let me start with you I drink tea I have a couple of coffees just to be cool and uh, and that's it, water, you know what I mean? Well, okay. and, I mean, and dep- and obviously, it depends if Debbie then drags me down to the pub, you know what I mean? I'll drink anything and everything. <laughs> John, what about you? Are you a squash kind of guy? No, I'm a coffee, uh, water kind of guy. Okay, coffee, water kind of guy. Occasional kombucha in a can. Oh. Yeah. I had one of them the other week, the um, apple cider vinegar thing. What, are they like little shots? Yeah, they're a little shot and all they nearly threw up. I should have had a bit of food before. Have you ever had a Yakult? Is that is it similar to a Yakult? No, that's yogurt, that's isn't it? yogurt. Oh, okay, yeah. sorry. No. Sorry, lads. <laughs> <laughs> Let the whole side down. I don't drink anymore, but I had a few Guinness Zeros over Christmas. Oh, now, I don't drink either at this point in time. I've got a real taste for it. Yeah, I hear they're very good. I'm thinking about joining. They can't be good. Non-alcoholics anonymous. I can't be so into it. They can't be good. Why can't they, they can't be good? Fucking don't get you pissed. No. Can't well, I mean, good. they can't be fucking good. Well, you got all that magic with the bubbles and the yeah. foam. No, it, no, I'll try it one day. Uh, right, green envy. Which song by another band or artist do you wish was yours? Lots of the roses. Love spreads is a tune. Oh yeah, resurrection. You know what I mean? Loads, you know. Bob Marley, you know what I mean? Like Hendrix, everything, you know, loves, you know the Birdie song. <laughs> <laughs> Wish I'd wrote that. <laughs> Crazy Frog, you know what I mean? Yeah. I've lost, eh? I'm on a lot of <laughs> I knew you'd get into this game eventually. Yes, you never lovely. let me down. You I, never I, let me down. Boy, I died at levels of a three year old. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Aqua, you know, Barbie Girl, all that. Yeah. That's me. You like that, okay. What about you, John? Is there a song you wish was wish was yours? Chestnut Mare by the Birds. Love that. Beautiful. Whole lot of love. Any in there. Beatles song. Any Beatles song. Right, we also have Red remaining, which is alarm and fear. A lot of people are alarmed by and scared of the rise of artificial intelligence. Does it have a place in the arts? Does it have a place in music? Liam, what do you think, first of all? I don't think so, no. I mean, you've have you heard yourself in AI form? I have. And you're not... You don't seem it's impressed just, by it. Just, uh, it sounds a bit odd, doesn't it? You know what I mean? No, it's not for me, man. What's the point? You know what I mean? If you can't do it, don't do it, innit? You know what I mean? Mm. So I've seen, I've heard like they've done bands and stuff and all that. It just sounds just a little bit, it's like a picture on a wall that's a little bit slanted. But it can't write a great song and it cannot put up shelves. 
I'm not worried about uh, Judgment Day, if that's the question. OK. You can't take the piss proper either, can it? No. no. AI, you know what I mean? AI will never have a blue plan. will never be able to take the piss proper. <laughs> will it? No. no. It's true. Right. OK, yellow or indigo, which would you like next? Um, I'll have yellow, please. The Yellow Pages. We all loved it. <laughs> it no longer exists in its kind of retro form. Which now defunct thing from the past would you like to continue to use or do you still continue to use? John, I'll start with you. Is there a VHS player in, in, in the Squire household, for example? Yeah, there is actually, but I need to throw it away. It's not plugged <laughs> in. Still got a lot of vinyl. Does that count? Vinyl does count. I've got a big studio and there's a lot of vinyl in there. Did you put the shelves up? <clears throat> I put some shelves up in that room, but the, uh, the vinyl is in a pre-bought unit. Okay. I didn't have to build that. Vinyl's good. Liam, what about you? I'm sort of leaning towards the Breville. <laughs> you know, the, am I getting it right here, the Breville? Yeah. Like the toasty thing. It wasn't like it would make the bread make, a different yeah, shape. Like, yeah, uh, you put a tomato in it, it'd burn the top of your mouth. Yeah, hotter than the sun, yeah. Yeah, that one. I'm, 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 I'm in the right game here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> am I allowed to use brand names? <laughs> <laughs> well, one, like a toaster. Like, well, it's not a toaster, is it? It's a, yeah, you Breville stuff. Yeah, yeah. Breville, yeah. They're, they're, you put it down. Yeah, they it's... sort of like don't really... No, I used to love a Breville top, sandwich. They're not top, they're not like cool anymore, are they? Yeah. And I like them. Okay, vinyl and Breville's. This is perfect. Yeah. <laughs> and now, Indigo. The Indigo 2 is the smaller venue inside London's O2, which, of course, Liam, you're going to be taking to the stage at in the summer for right. the Definitely Maybe thing, right. which is, like, just epic. But what I want to know is, which band, in their prime, would you love to see in a smaller, more intimate venue? Liam, I'll start with you this time. Um, the Pistols, man. Yeah. It'd have to be the Pistols. John, what about you? Uh, the Jimi Hendrix experience. Oh, two really good ones. In fact, when you guys start touring in March, you know, Barrowlands and Civic Hall in Wolverhampton and the Olympia in Dublin, and you're also doing Newcastle, Manchester twice, the Kensish Town Forum in London, the Troxy in London. There's some really great mm. venues to see you guys in there. You Trox must be very Troxy, excited. The Troxy is a good venue. Yeah. You ever played that one? No. Art Deco building is beautiful. It's going to be sweaty, I know that. That's the pull-out quote from this interview. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> <laughs> um, John Squire, thank you for being a, a brilliant debutee here on The Breakfast Show. It's been uh, really lovely to meet you. I'm a huge fan of, of the stuff that you've done. Liam Gallagher, mm. as you know, I, I love you to bits. I love you too, mate. And um, I, I just think that the two singles I've heard are absolutely epic and I know that everybody who listens to the show loves them as well and I cannot wait to hear the album which comes out on the 1st of March. Please give it up for the ones, the onlys, John Squire and Liam Gallagher. <laughs>